today I'm hanging out with my good friend Fabiana De Rose. To artistic synergies. To artistic synergies. That was quite an entrance. <laughs> She's beautiful, talented, and extremely dedicated. With years in the business of acting, producing, and organizing festivals. And we're going to pay a visit to Teatro San Genesio, the spiritual home of the Rome Savoyards. I'm Dune Medros, and you're watching Café Artiste. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> I was just in the neighborhood. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, I haven't been here since I can't even remember. Well, possibly pre pre COVID. I would like a room, please. <laughs> Feels like home here. It's empty. I know. It's naked. Normally, usually, there's, of course, a log with bookings. Yeah. And, well, there was also a computer, which is yeah. now gone. And flyers, programs, anything you need. Ah. Unfortunately, something called the pandemic happened. And, uh, yeah. Oh, this is gone. There, there, there was also a Frank. There was, well, for <laughs> sure. And, and many other good friends who yeah. always help out, out at the ticket desk welcoming the audience and welcoming the cast i like the horror movie effect i know <laughs> it needs a bit of blandness <laughs> also been used many times um, over the years. Well, Teatro San Genesio used the stage also for um, their some of their smaller theater festivals, because mm -hmm. so obviously the stage is smaller. So they did quite a few very nice little pieces and things over the years. And then, of course, Vitala. Well, the Vitala Festival concerts that are collaboration with them many were organized here yeah especially the acoustic, the acoustic, acoustic ones so the unplugged with, yeah things it was lovely yeah, yes it was because i mean it's it's more i remember intimate. that um we used to call it with tommaso like a sort of a living room concert because yeah. ultimately that's yeah. what it was um with you know obviously seats that are not here now but ah this uh was actually maybe 45, for, yes, no, without the maybe, 45 a seat? official, oh, official okay. seats. So obviously a, a cozy situation. And then during um, lockdown, uh, this stage was used for to record some of the stream sessions, the fundraising stream sessions right. that were filmed and streamed. <laughs> time I set foot on a stage since the pandemic. Really? I didn't realize that you hadn't actually been on a stage since. Not on a stage, I, I, I did, um, I was on a set. And yes. so I started thinking, when was the last time? Was it a play? Was it... And I had all these mental images of People here, people I know, chatting to the, the other members of the audience. And I thought, wow, that, that really feels like yesterday. I think and yet it was it maybe was Charlie's aunt. Yes, so that's February of um, 2020. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In fact, we were actually lucky that we managed to do the show before the lockdown started because 
the lockdown officially started on March. 9th of March, I think. Um, anyways, yeah, soon afterwards, so. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, we were in the foyer before. It kind of felt like we're visiting this venue that's been closed for 70 years. There was this apocalyptic vibe about it with the flickering light. Oh yeah, this po oh this is where we used to do it's like visiting the Titanic. No, I mean luckily, luckily we've actually been coming here and you know whenever it was allowed. Uh, but 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 as we said for rehearsals. I mean, Sandra will be in this show. She doesn't know that yet, <laughs> but she will. Well, she's and the one. You need, <laughs> she's the one you need to talk to. I mean, and, she's. Uh, but um, uh, you know, an well, she an she created you know, she created the she company. Founded she founded the company and, and, they, and she's you know, directed uh, so oh, many God. plays. No, but but before the plays, uh, you know, the Rome Savoy Arts did so many Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, right. So she can tell you for sure yeah. all about that. I mean, it's uh, well, a long time, 40 years. The, the Rome Savoyards celebrated 40 years recently. So she can tell you all about it. I'll, I'll yeah. leave that to her. Yeah. That's her. It's her domain. So, but I mean, obviously. But how many have you produced and acted well, in? Well, we. we uh, like, first, when, when did you come in? No, At well, what point? Uh, first, what year? The first show that we worked on together. Uh, in, in, in this kind of collaboration was in 2004, so it's been a while. Shall we? Of course! Right now, there's. Um, I think. Well, no, I know that uh, they're they're um, used as. Who did this? Oh. Do you know? Was it some? Have no one idea. of us? Maybe, but I don't think so. <laughs> Someone <laughs> nervous or bored doing. And this was this was mine and uh, Lydia's. Yes. <laughs> dressing room and there's drums in here. Yes, well, as I said, I think they're storing a lot of stuff yeah. in here. So, well, anyways, these changing rooms, I think, have been used by... Um, so many people. So many people. So many people. I know. I, I'm talking about it like, oh, yeah, this is mine. And this is where I did this. And yeah. <laughs> it comes alive when, when you're... Of course. Backstage. And of course. Lots of buzzing and lots of activities and lots of jokes. Lots of tea. Lots of tea. That's tea. usually that's and usually. I actually mean tea. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of champagne at the end of um, maybe. What? Was no? there? No, just to celebrate definitely the tea. closing. Definitely, yeah, definitely tea. tea. think back to the first time that Sandra and I actually came here when yeah. we were you know looking for theaters to perform in which as I said was quite a long time ago um, if I think about that it's quite incredible I mean at the time it was not a given that uh, a theater would gladly host theater in English The restaurant we are going to now is Ulisse. Yes. Um, and of course, Ulisse <laughs> has uh, been the venue of many cast dinners. Absolutely. Uh, over the year. Not and it's a not family place. Like it's for oh, it's families because really this is a neighborhood that's quite residential, even though yes. it's very central. Yes. Oh, are you hungry? Do you know ah. what you're having? Not 
really? So I have to oh. think about it. <gasps> it's full. Ulise I wonder, is, I, I is wonder if they'll <laughs> Ulise is always full. accept us. It's incredible. It's incredible. This place I know. It's always full. When, I, when we came back from the airport, mm -hmm. we, we drove past here and uh, Ulisa was full. It was Sunday evening. Good for them, I guess, after all the closures. Yeah. But this is, yeah, been. everyone who lives around here, this is just where they go. Yes. Well, one of the places for sure. It's a landmark from, for the neighborhood. because that's that's what they love I actually do that a lot I sometimes change my mind and I have to go back to the kitchen and say stop I but they don't have pork and patate written here that's why I I mean now ah. that he mentioned it okay so I'm going to attack this lovely um, filetto di bacala no is this it? is the fiore di zucca this ah. is um, so this is courgette. Yeah, yeah, this is cod. This is battered cod. Mm -hmm. Nothing too exotic. I mean, it's stuff that... <laughs> but this, this is quite. This is you only have it here in uh, in Italy or in Rome. It's um, zucchini courgette flour with is there mozzarella and anchovies in it? Yes. Sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit. We can eat and just nonchalantly. Mm. This is very, very nice. Mm. This is just oh. also rather summery. I attended the Central School of Speech and Drama, which was very nice. Did mm. you? This was a long time ago, of course. And at the time, I was also working in a shop in Covent Garden, so it was really a great. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was fun. It was. Would you like some? One rigatone. No, have two. No, 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 no. One. No, honestly. Just have one. A, you better have some. No, one challenge. No, no. But you're, but, but you're not no, having no, no, any no, no, of the pork. No, 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 that's okay. Ah, there you go. I know. <laughs> I don't know what you heard. I know some people say that I don't share food, but I do. I don't know who says that. Hmm. <laughs> but John always. Um, he always wants to have half and half, so we ha always have to order something different. It can't be a quarter. So I can't order the same thing ever. And we have to uh, share. But I just want my thing, but I'm happy for other people to taste it. It's just, there's a limit. Then you have to pay a tax. <laughs> Talking about how many events have taken place in San Genesio over the years and made it easier for, for people to meet, you know, um, and, and maybe artistic collaborations stemmed from that. I, I have definitely seen that happen a few times, um, like, uh, I mean, not only through the plays, I've seen it with the, also the um, art exhibitions. Frank did an, an exhibition, mm, that's for example. True. That's true. Um, but several artists that I have seen, uh, you know, walk through those doors and discover that there was a, a foyer area where you could do, uh, you, know, you could display your work as an artist. Uh, definitely a lot of mingling. And again, when we were saying how open-minded they, they, they are, and they, they were and they are towards projects, I think definitely also with the music. I mean, we were mentioning how many concerts uh, Eddie Zangani and Emanuela mm -hmm. Pietro did with their band, yeah. and um, but not only them. And um, I remember many years back, 
with, uh, with Mickey Martin, who is a, a friend and a great artist himself, actor, musician. Uh, he had an idea of uh, doing a, a festival of ethnic music, and he he you know he suggested it, and uh, I, I helped him out. And again, it was a collaboration with San Genesio, and um, and it was lovely. It was lovely. I mean, given was it was that before Vitala actually Vitala it was, was born. Well, in fact, that was the first time that the name Vitala was used because Mickey Mickey Martin came up with it. Um, he thought it was a nice name, you know, that somehow conveyed energy and vitality, and, and it, indeed. So, and that was a that was a start, I guess, of um, a lot of the music events that then took place uh, following those those initial uh, concerts of ethnic music. Of course, also. Uh, Eddie Zangani's band contributed to that, but it started a whole the hot rocks, the hot rocks, yes. But it started a whole, um, uh, well, yes, a whole festival really of concerts with then other musicians and performers and singers along the years, and um, and again, I think it was it, it was a fortune to find a theater that would open doors to all these initiatives and welcome collaborations. You know. It's so nice to create, I think, synergies. Um, and, uh, and this happens when you have a place that will welcome ideas, welcome projects and where people can meet and exchange ideas in a very relaxed way and, um, and for sure I think this is what has happened over the past 15 years for so many uh, artists. Oh, cheers since, to that. Since we're talking about this, we're talking about artistic synergies.